Hey there, so before I implement this uh, design, here is what it looked like. But the thing is, it uh, wasn't usable at all, it mostly it was just a prototype mockup uh, to show how to implement this animation on Android. And quite a few of you asked to finish it and uh, make it uh, more or less usable for to include in your applications. It's still pretty ugly, the the way I wrote it, it's, I'm using uh, four fragments, uh, two up at the bottom, which are actually switched and used, and uh, two top ones uh, for just for animation purposes. Could have used uh, just uh, three fragments, uh, so one for top animation and uh, replace them with, uh, with fragment manager, but uh, it would require more code. It's still it would be ugly, but uh, here are a few changes that I've recently made. So now when you click uh, outside of uh, the button, it actually does nothing. Before a fragment change was uh, triggered on any area you clicked. So now anywhere you click outside of the button, it doesn't work. Just on the button itself, as you'd expect. And the text inputs work. You could type some text, change it, and it's still there. As you see, the design itself doesn't have any submit button, so I could have put like a small tiny button in here with with an arrow or something to submit, or would have been nice, but. Uh, I decided not to mess up with the design and to use uh, this text as a submit button. The large text works as your submit. So here are here is my login fragment and uh, here you would handle a login submit over here. And the same for sign up fragment in sign up method. The thing is that uh, so the those uh, bouncing buttons and large text is a part of login button class. So in order for fragments to to handle clicks on the, this text, I'd need to handle it in a login button, touch input, and uh, determine if it's if it was on the text area. Then I delegate it to fragments, which I. I've implemented with listeners, login and sign up listeners, and my fragments. So my fragments implement these listeners, and uh, I'm passing them to my button over here in main activity. And main activity itself handles some of the animation. So again, it's uh, pretty messed up code, but uh, it does the animation. I'm pretty sure there are plenty of bugs uh, related to different screen sizes because it's uh, not responsive at all mostly hard-coded values for uh, large screens like uh, 6p or so i wouldn't recommend you using it this code anywhere but uh, you could if you know how to fix the issues and you can get this source code on github the link is uh, gonna be in the description subscribe talk to you later